Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Full-time reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're just going to start the video out with some $40 Pyrex that I know nothing about. Um, I did see it. It did catch my eye. Uh, I did look it up later, and I guess it's more of a common pattern. I could be wrong. I just did a Google search, um, and that is what I found. It was not an intensive search. It was Google Lens and um, very basic, but that was what I was found, so I was glad that I passed on it. Um, sometimes with Pyrex, uh, a certain shape with a certain pattern can make it rare, so I could be wrong. You guys can let me know in the chat if I'm wrong. Um, I do have a Pyrex video, category video I did, so definitely go check that out for additional Pyrex information. It's uh, basically a bolo category video on pyrex okay so glass ornaments can definitely be a bolo those did not seem to be original to the packaging i could be wrong they could have still been a bolo but i am not a fan of shipping those types of items i'm always uh, really worried that they will get broken so i went ahead and passed on those had they been cheaper, I may have considered it. Now, these items, they're like little plates. They're hand-painted. Um, I did try to negotiate the price down. I did get her down some, but um, I just was kind of on the fence, and the price, I just didn't get her down as low as I had hoped to be. Now, should I have bought them? Mm, maybe. Uh, the watch band I bought for my husband, he wasn't a big fan of it, uh, so I just went ahead and listed it myself. I It may sit, it may sell, I have no idea. We shall see. It was new old stock, so um, that treehouse book was kind of cool. Maybe I should have got that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know that these videos are the type of videos that I am going to be putting on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. And I have not done a lot of yard sale videos yet just because it's just now starting to be yard sale season or garage sale season. But um, I do have a lot of thrift with me videos over there and a lot of mystery box unboxing videos. So definitely be sure to go over and subscribe and look for lots of videos like this in the future. All right, so um, we've got some mugs here. Maybe I should have grabbed this Snoopy mug. I know a lot of people uh, love Snoopy. And um, this was a pretty good garage sale, actually. Uh, there was probably more that I probably could have made money on, but... Uh, I have lots of inventory, so I'm trying to be more selective. Uh, sometimes that's hard when I uh, see things that I'm really, really into. Like, I love toys. I love vintage Christmas. And if the price is right, it is hard for me to pass up. Um, there was... Where did it go? Did I accidentally clip it out? Hmm. Maybe it's coming up here. I don't think I clipped it out. There was actually a mug that I picked up. Okay, I think it's coming up. All right, so this is Heartstone, and I always pick up Heartstone. This one is like a little dish. Uh, I don't know if it holds sugar or I'm guessing sugar, like a little sugar dish. And you saw what I priced it at. I could not find any exact comparables on that, so that was how I priced it. And I also picked up this one. Mugs are what I typically pick up. This one is super, super cute. I've never found one like that before. I have done really well with the Heartstone Halloween mugs. So definitely be on the lookout for those. Okay, so this is some school supplies. And some of these are vintage. So there is one new old stock item that I picked up. And I'm going to show you a screenshot here in just a second. 
I actually found two solds. Um, it's kind of hiding and I don't actually pick it up in my hand. It's right here. It's this 1992 Scripto. Um, so I believe I auctioned those. They did not sell through on the first time. So I will be listing those with a buy it now. I did grab these stickers. I haven't done anything with them yet. So I don't have a screenshot for you. Um, I'll either lot them or sell them individually. I have to look up comps. This sale I did pretty well at. I found some pretty cool stuff. A lot of bread and butter. Um, you know, the garage sales this year, nothing has been like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I found that. You know, um, a lot of bread and butter. But, uh, you know, I'm getting stuff cheap and I'm going to be making money, so that's good. Uh Last weekend, I found some decent stuff. I went to an estate sale, actually, and I didn't get any footage, unfortunately. You will see the items in my What Sold videos, but uh, I did find some bolos there, and I found some really, really great plush, and um, what else did I found, find? I found some McDonald's items, and this is a different estate sale, not the one McDonald's estate sale, you guys. This is a different one. So, um, yeah, definitely uh, it was a good estate sale. I left there feeling really, really good. All right, so I do find um, a Boyd's Bear, and this is not the one that was in the video that was on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. No, wait a minute. I think I put that on my main channel, my Bolo Buddies channel. Disregard. Um, the Boyd's Bear. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely go check that out because for some reason, there's a certain Boyd's Bear that is trending right now and they are going for big money. So you definitely want to know what that is and what to look for. Um, here's the one that I found. So I started the auction at $19.99. It did not sell, so I'm going to relist that at a buy it now or best offer. Um, this little guy, same thing. I did an auction. I'm going to be relisting that because it did not sell. Um, if I can't find any exact comparable, I will oftentimes start the auction at what I would put it at um, a little below of what I would like to get for the item. And then if it doesn't sell, I just do a buy it now. That's just kind of to feel out the market. And that's only if there's not a lot of items listed or none. And sometimes I get lucky, but most of the time I just end up relisting the item at a buy it now or best offer. Again, it's just my way of doing things. Um, I don't do a lot of auctions where I start the prices really low um, that's not typically my thing. I did grab that little Snoopy. I haven't listed him yet. This noisemaker, I don't know if it's a reproduction or if it's, um, old. So I did pick that up. Still looking into it. These napkins, I did not get those. Now, I do come across some roller skates, and you guys, I probably should have got these because they were in really fantastic condition. Um, roller skates are hard for me because I have a hard time identifying which ones are valuable and which ones are not, and I was being a lazy reseller, and I left them behind. Uh, they did have them priced, I think, at $25. I probably could have negotiated and I probably should have gotten them. What do you guys think? Now, um, this little ghost and this pumpkin, um, I picked these up along with a tablecloth. I think it was a dollar for all three items. Um, those are going to be bread and butter. I don't, I don't know the Halloween items might do better. I did price them and I did an auction. And I was kind of hoping that maybe I would get some bites since they were new old stock. 
but they did not sell, so I will relist them with the Buy It Now. These are Long & Burger um, salt and pepper shakers. Now, they wanted $5 for each set. Um, I didn't see the price for some reason when I took them up, and when I got up there, I noticed the price. I tried to negotiate. They would not negotiate with me. They were really, really dirty. Um, just had food on them and stuff. And, you know, I said, would you come down on the price? And they said no. So I left them behind. Uh, number one was because I didn't want to clean them. If they would have come down on the price, I probably would have gotten them and wiped them down. But um, I was more in the 2 to $3 per set price range. So I didn't really want to pay 5 per set. Could I have made money at 5 per set? Yes, but um, I don't know. I just decided to pass. Now, you guys, Willow Tree, Nativity Scene characters or figures. Definitely are a bolo. Um, they only had two of them, two of the wise men. So I went ahead and got those two. And they also had one of the Joy. I think it was Joy. The Joy uh, figure was not, um, she's not a bolo. She's a bread and butter, but she sold very quickly for the fourteen eighty. I think it was. Um, and I have the two nativity figures still listed. And then there's the Halloween items. And then that's just a spider web tablecloth. So it was, you know, a pretty good day. I still found um, some more items here, so... We're going to head on to the next sale. Um, I found another Long & Burger basket, and I don't typically pick up baskets, um, but this one had the Halloween liner, so I went ahead and got that, and that sold really quickly for $25, and I paid $5 for that. So I was happy with that. I mean, it sold within a couple days. At this sale, I don't believe I grabbed anything. I probably could have... Um, clipped out this footage if I'm being completely honest. Um, I did look this up just thinking that maybe it could be special. It's a music box, but it was not, so I left it behind. Um, there were also a couple of um, CDs that were new in the packaging that I looked up, and I uh, also left those behind. I think I show those. I was thinking maybe, what if this is silver? <laughs> You know, you always think that you're going to find that hidden treasure at a garage sale, right? It was not silver. Actually, um, I do find some really, really great treasures at one of the last sales I go to in this video. So definitely stay tuned. Um, those are what I looked up. These, I, I've never, I don't know that I've ever seen them where there are those uh, long, packaging. It was kind of weird, so that's why I looked it up. All right. Um, like I said, I found some bolos, and one of the bolo items has already sold, so we're going to talk about that when we get to it. Um, but definitely, definitely, some, some decent items were found at these sales. Nothing like crazy, like, oh my gosh, I bought it for a dollar and it sold for a hundred, but... I did have a, I bought it for a dollar and it sold for 60. And I'm going to tell you about that. Now this sale was uh, pretty cool. Um, I think this is the sale. I'm looking back trying to remember. Is this it? Um, give me a minute, guys. This was like last weekend. I'm just now getting to uh, record it. Yep, this is the one. Okay, so... Um, this pen set, um, well, hold on, I'll come back to it. Okay, do you see the receipt books? I ended up keeping those because I keep these in my car and I document my um, yard sales. So when I go to a yard sale, I write down the date and what I bought, not what I bought, how much I spent and uh, my mileage and all of that. Now, the little... Uh, I forget what it was, if it uh, like was like a dictionary thing or what. One of them I bought, the batteries had corrosion, so I had to throw it away. 
This pen set was missing a pen. I just listed it low. Um, I'll probably end up taking a best offer on that. Uh, let's see. I did sell this cassette player super quick. It's like a little recorder. I think it sold for $33. Um, it was in the screen share there. That was correct. Um, and then there was another thing that I ended up donating. The comps weren't great. Um, I probably should have comped more. What do you guys think about this material? Should I have bought this? Um, the reason I didn't, well, one of the reasons was it was pinned and I did not want to mess with the pins. Um, just kind of checking out the movies, seeing what they got. Um, but yeah, that cassette player was pretty good. I paid, um, or it was like a cassette, the mini cassette recorder. I paid a dollar for it and it sold super quickly for the $33. So that was good. That was a bolo in my mind. A dollar into 33 really quick. I will take those margins. All right, let's see. Um, okay, at this sale, I pick up one thing and it's super, super cute. Um, it's these little vintage elves or gnomes. I don't know what they are. Elves, gnomes. They're very, very cute. And I think I paid a dollar for those. Cloudy, Oops. While I'm talking here, sales. I can't remember what I said. Something about, I think, going to another garage sale. Um, but I guess I'm just going to record over it. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, you guys, I did not buy anything at this sale. But I'm going to leave the footage because sometimes you guys see things that I don't. And it was an interesting sale. Um, I am looking for some shelves. Um, I have some ideas in mind. And I decided to look around. But all of the shelves had stuff on them. You can see they made this like a horse shelf. And then they had like a hunting shelf. And I want to like decorate my own shelves. You know what I mean? Like that one's an Ohio State shelf, which is cool because I went to Ohio State. But um, again, I don't want an Ohio State themed shelf. So it didn't work out for me. But I was hoping that maybe I would find some plain shelves. But I didn't want to ask them if they had any plain shelves <laughs> when they sell decorated shelves. So, um, there were a couple masks and I'll probably, um, I think I show them in the video that I thought about getting, I did look up comparables and, um, they just didn't comp out super high. So I decided not to get them. And like I said, I do end up leaving this sale empty handed and I go on to the next sale and I cannot find it. You guys. Do you ever like see a sign? I put it in my GPS. I literally drove past the sale like three times. I had to turn around like three different times. I'm like, where is this sale? And it was on this little weird side road. It was so random and so weird. But anyway, I finally found the sale and thank goodness that I did because it was worth it. Um, wait until you see the little gems that I found at the next sale. So, um, this mask was interesting. Um, the Frankenstein mask before that was the one I looked up. Um, apparently it came with a full body suit. So, um, I don't know. I just decided not to get it. And you guys, there's lots of little smalls here, but you guys know I pick up smalls all the time. I get them super cheap, um, either in mystery boxes or I bulk buy at garage sales. So um, I decided to just pass on these toys. Nothing was jumping out at me as, oh, I can get this much that this one item will pay for the whole bag. Nothing like that. So those are kind of the things that I look for. And then a lot of times I will just lot up the other miscellaneous items and recoup some of the other monies. So anyway, it, 
it wasn't a bad sale. You know, it just wasn't what I was looking for. So tell me, guys, how are your yard sales going? Are you guys having a good season so far? Um, are you guys, anybody still locked down? Or is everybody pretty much out and about now? Are you guys still being forced to wear masks when you're outside or just when you're inside? What's going on with everybody's uh, state or county? I don't know if it's by county now or if it's by state. I don't even know. I can't, I can't keep up with everything going on everywhere. I can hardly keep up with my area. It seems like it's constantly changing and updating which I guess is good. We're moving forward. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? More shelves. Lots and lots of shelves. I want to get you guys to the next sale. I'm like, come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I should have cropped some of this out, but I've already pulled up all of my screen shares, and I think if I crop it out now that... um. Here it is. Here we go. It would mess up my screen shares. That's what I was going to say. So this is a bunch of yarn. And I was looking down in the bags kind of to see if there was anything special. And I sure am glad I did that because look what I found. New old stock. Um, I did this start this one auction style at $59.99. It did not sell, so I will be relisting that. These wood beads, one is open. Um, I just went ahead and started those at $10. Uh, they will go on sale, so I think I'm running a 25 or 26% off sale right now. So those will go down. Um, this li These little patches I am sending over to Jessie Shops as a gift. Um, I'm going to put together like a little bundle for her. Uh, she sent me some adorable owl necklaces. Um, you guys will see that in one of my videos um, where I unbox it. They are so, so cute. And um, I found these little patches and she just makes the cutest items out of crafty items like that. So I'm going to send her those and I'm going to just kind of be on the lookout when I'm out at garage sales and stuff and I'm going to try to make her up a little, um, a bundle, a little bundle of crafty items. Um, you know, when you're looking for things, they become harder to find. So hopefully I'll find some stuff. That is the goal. So, um, it's garage sale season, so we'll see how it goes. But I have one item, so I'm on a treasure hunt. I'm going to be hunting for items. All right. So you saw one of my bolo items now, I have a bolo item that already sold that I'm going to show you next. It's coming up. Not next, but this item's pretty cool. It's a, a Napa scarf, and I do have that one listed. I decided I was going to get a box and put my items in it. So that's what I did. All right, we are going to come over and check out some toys and we're going to work our way over to the item that I picked up for a dollar that I sold for $59.99 on auction. So that is coming up. Like I said, let's get through these toys. And you guys, definitely some of these plush could have sold um, as a great bread and butter item. I just bought a whole bunch of plush the day before at an estate sale. So um, I was being very, very picky. Um, again, some of these plush probably could have sold for between $10, 12 $15 each. So um, I probably uh, could have made some money on some of that. And I probably could have negotiated with them on the price. So I don't know what that was. It says Medela. I think it was a breast pump. And I'm not sure um, what the guidelines are on eBay for breast pumps. Uh, definitely check before you list them there. Uh, they're, 
I don't know about Mercari either, if you can sell them on there or not. I would think as long as it's sanitized, it, I don't know why they would care, but I'm not sure. I did look at this because it seemed to be new in the package, but sometimes people use things and put them back in the package. So I just decided to leave it behind. I didn't want to mess with like trying to clean it up. And so I just left it. I just left it there. Now I did see this snazzy red coat coming up and I thought about getting it, but um, the condition was not great, but I thought that color was pretty snazzy, but I left it behind. Would you have grabbed the snazzy burgundy coat? Or would you have left it behind? Did I make a mistake? Let me know in the comments. I think it's leather, but um, I couldn't find a tag. All right. So I don't know why I came back over here. I guess to look at more bedding. I don't know why. I don't know why I was on a little bit of a bedding kick there because I don't typically buy bedding. These little Tupperware things, maybe I should have got them. I think that some people um, really like and collect Tupperware, but I don't know if it's a bolo or if it's just a bread and butter. This was really cool. It's like, I think it's a peacock, but yeah, it's fun. It's a fun little cup, mug. Oh, and if I haven't mentioned, I don't think I have, I do have merch available if you guys are interested in some Bolo Buddies merch, and I do have a new design, so be sure to go down to the uh, description of the video and go to my merch link and go check it out. I think you guys are going to love it. It's so exciting, and um, it is awesome. Go check it out. And uh, Robin from Because She Shed came up with the logo, and it is absolutely amazing. And there is something hidden. See if you guys can figure it out. That's your test. Go see if you can figure it out. You'll have to scroll down because... Um, the stuff at the top is my original merch, and this is just something that was recently added. You'll know when you see it. All right, so here we go, you guys. Here's the bolo. Here's the bolo. Um, these underwear. Jockey vintage underwear. Four sold for $59.99. And these two pair did not sell, so I have relisted them. And... Yeah, anytime you can find vintage underwear. These were all, um, I don't know if they were pre-owned, never worn, or pre-owned and worn, but um, I just decided to pass since they had no packaging. Now this purple robe is Victoria's Secret. I haven't gotten to it yet. Maybe I should have grabbed that one. I know some of the vintage Victoria's Secret can do really well, but um, I just wasn't feeling it, so I left it behind. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.